the next movie that I checked out for my October 2012 horror movie marathon was The Last House on the Left, 1972. Wes Craven. The guy is known for adapting to whatever generation that he films in. This was one of his this was his second official film and he was 33 which is still young but old for a young director cuz you see a lot of big budget movies get made by directors in their late 20s nowadays. Anyway, um look at the guy's amazing. Obviously his credentials alone, alone prove him to be one of the best horror directors of all time, obviously. And look at his peers like Argento and George A. Romero, where they seem to be kind of losing it in their later age. Well, Wes Craven still puts out hits with Scream, and even though my soul to take sucked, it was still above average horror movie. I kind of liked the, la the ending of that movie. So this movie, Last House on the Left, 1972, it's almost like the epitome of every 70s horror or uh, every 70s sec exploitation, sexploitation action film of that era for drive-in grindhouse films. I checked out the grindhouse cut. There's multiple versions, multiple titles. The titles kind of what made, is not only what made this famous, but Wes Craven's ability to go above and beyond in the horror sense. Like the last 20 minutes is just a bloodbath. It's just great. Um, Wes Craven might not be the best scriptwriter, but look at his films. It, look at he's gotten it. He's made a classic in every decade. Last House on the Left in the seventies. You could even count The Hills Have Eyes in the seventies. A Nightmare on Elm Street in the eighties. Scream. You know what made Scream one of the best movies? Not only. Wes Craven directing it is the combination of Kevin Williamson, one of the best writers. Those two teaming up with the Weinstein production, unbelievable. That movie's just, that franchise is just unbelievable. And he's directed all those films. And then um, he even did the production for the remake of The Last House on the Left. And that's one thing I don't like. The 70s just was an era where you could get away with a lot of the sexploitation and the rape scene and and the scene where she bites the guys off you couldn't do that in the remake they tamed it down watered it down it was like only in the 70s only in that era they've proven that they could remake other films successfully but the last house on the left remake is and I like remakes but it was the one that I like to diss the most and even Wes Craven himself though who is the producer he claims it was better than his film so you know he's his brains rotten on something he didn't even um, so it had a video nasty reputation it wasn't even shown in some company some countries until early 2000s, like literally in Europe. Um, here's an example, you know like in the mid 70s, a trip with the teacher, that doesn't go above and beyond, but this does. And the characters are great. So dark and sinister. If, this isn't for rookies who haven't seen 70s exploitation films, if you're not there it might be kind of a culture shock but it's a great example and the epitome of a late 60s early 70s biker gang type of exploitation film like I was saying so expect all the filler and hardcore 70s and 60s soundtrack um, so Wes Craven really adapts to every generation and makes it feel like it's that generation and has made one of the best films horror films in every generation like I was saying, that's pretty much all I have to say. I love the ending. If you could sit through parts where it gets drags out in the middle part. Um, if you don't know the concept of it, basically it's about two girls who are looking to score some before a rock concert, and they run into, they cross paths with this clan of 
psycho and sociopaths and junkies who basically have their way with them. You know, this shit happens in real life every day, you gotta imagine. And the thing that I fucking love about this film, it feels like a documentary of, like, a rape. That's how real it feels at moments of this. To the um, just great. <laughs> gotta love it. Halloween bash. And I'm pretty much out. I'm gonna give it a B minus. This was JBM. Tune in to more of my upcoming discussions on different random horror videos and leave your comments. I love discussing horror movies. Tell me some horror movies that you are watching this October and I'm out.